Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with www.learnvisualstudio.net, and in this lesson we'll talk about the scroll viewer. I would probably say it's more of a layout control than it is an input control, but it's not even a layout control per se. It'll just allow you to add a scrollable area into your application, whether for the whole viewable area or just for sections, just for, like we'll use it in this lesson, we're just going to add it to specific grids of a, or cells of a grid. So as you can see, I have a new project called Scroll Viewer Example, and I'm going to replace the uh, the open grid tag by adding some row definitions and column definitions which will give us a, a two by two grid and in this first cell uh, where the row is zero and the column is zero I'm going to paste in a scroll viewer control you can kind of see it at work here now there is one little other part of uh, setup you can see here that I've got this financial.png we used this in a previous example I just uh, needed a, a an image so I copied and pasted it into my assets folder now I'm accessing it in an image control setting its height equal to 800 and I'm setting its stretch equal to none and this will give us something that we can scroll around inside of our scroll viewer and a scroll viewer is just that it's a viewable area that can be scrolled here we're setting the horizontal and the vertical properties uh, uh, the visibility of those scroll bars both equal to auto which means if you need it show it if you don't need it don't show it Okay, so now let's go ahead and run the application. You can see how easy it is to use a scroll viewer. All right, so this roughly takes up one quarter of the screen. And you can see now I have scroll bars vertically and horizontally, and I can move around the entire area. Great. All right, and that is the easiest case. Now let's talk about... Uh, some of the gotchas with the scroll viewer and this took me a little while to figure out so I want to point this out to you uh, if you enclose a, uh, a scroll viewer with a stack panel you essentially eliminate it um, and so you can see here that I'm putting a stack panel in row 2 the second row grid row equal one and the first column and I have inside of that a scroll viewer with its horizontal and vertical scroll bar visibilities both set to auto I have the same image control all of that's exactly the same but notice what happens now since we're inside of the context of a uh, of a stack panel you can see we get no scroll bars whatsoever if I hover over the the grid cell we get something but over the bottom grid cell we get no way to scroll around so that is the moral of the story the stack panel kills a child scroll viewer having said that there's one last scenario that I just want to show you here in that you can put stack panels inside of a scroll viewer like so so in this case I set the scroll viewer inside of the 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 second row second column and set its horizontal and vertical scroll bar visibilities both the auto if you need to use it here I have uh, two image controls stacked you can see I'm using a stack panel and then adding two instances of that financial.png stacked on top of each other so this time when we run the application you can see that I do in fact get a scroll bar again because the parent is the scroll bar and the child is the stack panel in this scenario the stack panel is the parent and the scroll bar is the child and so we get nothing okay and uh, we'll probably never use the the scroll viewer quite like I did just now typically we'll use it in the entire viewable area inside of the Chrome of the applications window or the entire application itself uh, in the case of uh, in the phone uh, form factor okay so but the scroll viewer very important we'll be using this increasingly as we work through our applications because we'll need to be scrolling through data potentially um, when we have lots of it just like we saw in the news and the sports and the money apps okay all right that's all I wanted to say about the scroll viewer let's continue on the next lesson thanks